Hi, I would like to share with you one of my favorite uh, teacher tools for math. It is something that is free to use and it has been a game changer in my classroom. It is Desmos um, and it's a practice piece that they offer for free to teachers. And I have my screen split. On this side is an incognito window where I'm going to pretend to be a student. And on this side is the teacher dashboard. So I had already um, done this one time to just play around with it. Here is the code. I'm going to click on that so that you can see how you can show it to students in a larger view. I will go ahead and put that code in right here. And I will join the activity. I'm going to, I usually have the kids sign in with their Google accounts. That way I make sure I have them in there and they don't put in a nickname. But for today, I'm just going to put in my name and I'll say go. And this is what my screen looks like. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this so that you can see the teacher dashboard and you can see how now we have two students that have logged in and I will begin the problems. So the first one is a numerical input where I have to put the exact answer or it tells me it's wrong. I am actually going to put it in wrong right now just to show you what it looks like on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in and hit submit. And over here, it tells me that my answer is incorrect. And over here, it has a dot. But if I go to the next slide, it will put an X on the teacher's screen. So they know immediately that the student got it wrong. Um, I sometimes have students where they will just keep inputting stuff until they maybe get it right. Um, but it's a red flag to me to keep seeing them keep seeing them move back and forth. So this next one, I will go ahead and put in correctly so that you see the difference. Um, and let me go ahead and do that. And on this one, it tells a student that it's correct and it lights up as correct right here for the teacher. I'm going to skip the next one on purpose and I am going to go to this one um, and I will put the correct answer in this time and it will show up on the teacher dashboard. Sometimes you have to move, the student has to move off of it in order for the teacher to see it. But for these students, I would tell them at this point, because they're on question number four, um, you, you know, I would just tell them, you need to go back and look at question number three, you skipped it. Or I might tell them, go back and look at number one again. If a student only misses one or two in a 10 problem um, practice, I don't, say anything I usually wait until they finish and then I have them go back and look review their answers so that they can maybe see where they made a mistake but if I see a student get two or three um, questions wrong in a row now I know that student needs attention right away so I ask them to stop working until I can get over there to help them they clearly miss something in my instruction and I want to make sure it's clear but um, Desmos has been a game changer because I no longer wait until a student has finished a worksheet or finished with task cards before I realized they didn't know what they were doing. I'm aware of how my students are doing at every moment when they are working in a Desmos activity. Um, and I just find it wonderful. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, and I wanted to share with you what it looks like from both the student's perspective and the teacher's perspective. Thank you so much for watching.